Hey guys, 2020 Eagle Man here today with another wax break. Today's wax break is going to be 2000 Fleer Ultra. I have a hobby box here in front of me. Uh, the seal, the factory seal has been broken on this, but the packs are all in here. And there's no guaranteed auto in this box, but there's a chance of getting one, so that'd be pretty cool to hit. There's also some pretty sick inserts we can pull from these. And uh, obviously we're just looking for big names and all that, but... This is really exciting. I love the throwback early 2000s stuff. As you can already hear, the card's going to be really, really stuck together, so it's kind of bear with me here, but let's go ahead and get started. First pack here, 2000 Fleer Ultra. Let's see. Yeah, pretty stuck together. It's going to be a pretty rough break, but we'll get through it. Looks like we got an insert in this one, so we got Wade Boggs, Ricky Henderson, and we'll just we'll just do the insert first. So we've got a platinum medallion edition, Greg Maddox. Oh my gosh! So this is like one of the like no way. This is like one of the tougher uh, parallels to get. And this is a Greg Maddox, so an awesome player to get as well. Ah, oh, that's sick. No, this is the very first pack we pulled. This. Oh my gosh! Number out of fifty. Like, I know that, like, 50 is a low number, but for back in the day, this is unheard of. Out of 50, this is insane. Oh my gosh, the very first pack we get this. I, I am in dis- this is crazy. Now I'm just gonna, yeah, let's put this, let's put this on a stand, because that might be the hit of the box. The very, very first pack. Oh my goodness. Wow, we got really, really lucky there. I'm very excited about that one. Oh, let's see who else is in this. Hey, we haven't even started the whole video and I'm already pulling cards like that. So we got the Ricky Henderson, Larry Walker there, Wade Boggs, uh, Cliff Floyd. Let's do it one by one here. There we go. Rico. Last two here. Oh, Derek Jeter. Very nice. So solid pack. Je uh, Jeter's got uh, some snowflaking going on. But this pack has been insane. Wow, check that out. That Maddox is crazy. All right, well, let's see what the next pack holds, I guess. Since we're uh, opening it up so strong, the bar has been set pretty high. Let's see how these next packs will do. Okay, listen to this. Oh yeah, that's rough. These cards are really stuck together, just how it is though. So let's see, Alex Gonzalez, Manny being Manny. Oh boy, that's real bad. Yeah, these cards are going to be pretty rough. Luckily that card looks great, so. Uh, Juan Encarnacion, Tim Salmon. Oh boy, I hate doing that. Stuck to the Mike Piazza. And look at this, we got a gold medallion edition card, no way. Let's pull that off nice and easy. This card got a little bit damaged. So this is the other rare parallel we can get. There's no way. We pulled two of the highest parallels. We got the platinum off the start and then the gold. So the gold is not numbered. Although I think the platinum is the rarest you can get. So we, we hit a home run off the start. But the gold, pretty nice. Um, Rob Nen. Not, not a big name player. Not like Greg Maddox. But hey, that's still a pretty cool one. That's a good one to get. We'll just bust it through this pack. Uh, unfortunately, that gold one has a little bit of damage to it. Just a little bit. Nothing too crazy, though. So, not too many big names in that pack. Did get a gold parallel, so that's nice. And the snowflaking is real with this box, but that's okay. Some cards will come out pretty nice. Ooh, this one didn't uh, crack too much. We do have an insert in this one. See here, Tony Batista, Chris Hutchison. Looks like we have an insert in here as well. And we'll see what it is. I thought I saw an insert in here. I guess not. Jay Buner, Mark Grace. No, oh, must have skipped it. Did it get stuck to something? Oh no, the cards might have just been skewed. I thought I saw like a, a die cut of some sort. But uh, I guess... Not. Oh yeah, we did. We totally skipped over one. Oh my gosh. 
Yeah, Gold Medallion Edition Trevor Hoffman. Very nice. So again, this is the lower end. Of, we've gotten three parallels right in a row. I think that's crazy. I don't know the odds of the gold, but the platinum is definitely hard to hit. So Trevor Hoffman's got some damage down here in the edging. Pretty rough. Luckily, that platinum, though, does not, it does not look like it has any damage to it at all. I'll take another, a closer look at it later to see how the, uh, the quality is on it. But man, this card is blowing me away right now. Alright, next pack. Got Kenny Lofton on front. Oh yeah. This one also has a parallel in it. I'm going to try and find it. Okay, there it is. So now it's on the bottom. Okay, there's Bartolo. He's on the tribe. That's a young Tolo. Let's see here, Rico Bragna, Omar V. Skell. These cards do look really good. I haven't even commented on the, the look of 2000 Ultra. They do look great. The backs, pretty colorful. I'm not a fan of the backs. I think the colors are a bit wild, a bit obscure. But the fronts definitely look cool. I love the look of them. Trout Nixon, Kenny Lofton, Tom Gordon. Uh, Garcia Parra, got some bad snowflake in there. And I'll pull out the insert. Another gold medallion, Frank Thomas. And this one looks pretty good. Yeah, um, the edging in the bottom right corner looks a little bit damaged. Other than that, great looking card. Frank Thomas, the big hurt. Not too bad. A little bit of chipping on top there. Yeah, not too bad. Three gold cards, a platinum. Very nice. And... Okay, no one else too big in that pack. Yeah, a stack of commons right there. We'll keep grinding out. I know it's kind of painful to watch peeling off the card one at a time. But uh, you gotta do what you gotta do. There's really no way to mitigate it. I've tried all sorts of things like putting the cards in the freezer, heating them up and all that stuff. So let's just see what the insert is real quick. Another gold medallion, Jose Lima. This one has very little damage to it. Ah, oh, the back's kind of messed up. Spoke a little bit too soon. But that'll be the gold card, the gold medallion. These gold medallions seem pretty common. I'm going to guess they're uh, one per pack. I'm trying to read the box right now. It doesn't look like it says anything about one per pack, but that's going to be my guess. That's been our average so far, at least. Uh, let's see. No one big in this. There's Bobby Abreu. Donnie Damon, Mark Quinn, and then Galarraga. So with this set, um, there are really no big names, or big rookies, that is. Really just looking for the big names like Jeter, Ripken, Griffey, all those guys. And then the last, I think, 50, or the last 100, it's the last part of the set, and you usually get one of, one of those cards in every four packs. Um, that part of the set is short printed. I don't know. I don't know if I explained that well at all. But the last part of the set is short prints, and usually get one of those cards per every four packs. So we'll probably hit a few. I might skip over them by accident. Uh, there's Chipper Jones, Hall of Famer, and we do have an insert in this one, another die cut. So I'm guessing it is a uh, gold medallion. And let's see here. There's Mark McGuire. We'll put him in a sleeve. Got some bad snowflaking on him. Uh, there's Willie Pena. So he looks like a young guy. This might fall into that range. And there's the uh, the gold Sterling Hitchcock. Uh, 297, so he doesn't. I believe the range is from 300 and up. Though I'm not sure. I'll double check on that. So let's take a look at this gold medallion. Front looks pretty good. See how the back looks. Yeah, not too bad. A little bit of snowflaking on his jersey. But uh, the main card hit looks pristine from what I saw very briefly. So I'm very happy with the break already. Okay, here's Beltre. This is a pretty young Beltre, actually. Uh, future Hall of Famer for sure. And then Chris Singleton. So I acquired this box in a lot of, like, I don't know. Six or eight other hobby boxes and packs and stuff. A lot of which I haven't even opened up yet on my channel. 
most of them are like early 2000s stuff, which is um, when I actually started collecting. So a lot of this stuff is very nostalgic to me. So uh, this box was not expensive at all. I think I paid about a dollar a pack for each of these. What it came out to be. I think a little bit less than that, actually. There's Rusty Greer. Freddy Garcia. And it looks like we have an insert. And this is a really good looking insert. Wow, Ken Griffey Jr.? Swing Kings, that's incredible. Look at this card. See-through, obviously. Nice acetate to it. Putting a sleeve on this. Um, like a little bit of white down there. Man, that card looks great. Ken Griffey Jr., that's a beautiful looking card. Five of ten, Swing Kings. That's gorgeous. Yeah, back in the day, the early 2000s, they were like obsessed with die cuts and see-through cards and stuff just trying to do crazy things with them and i mean they really overdid it back then but nowadays we look at it and they're actually kind of cool so see if griffy griffy can get a little bit of spotlight in the back there there you go that'll do so yeah then we also got a gold card in there somewhere it's gonna peel peel the rest of these off not so concerned oh nice a wade boggs very cool see if we can peel him off nice and gently Ooh, that sounded bad. Ah, not too bad on the back. A little bit of damage. Front looks great, though. It's a nice Wade Boggs on the Rays. Yeah, but I'm not too concerned with the uh, the base cards, which I usually am. I'm usually I'm more of a set builder, so I love completing sets, getting all the common cards together. But uh, with this box in particular, most of the common cards are going to be damaged. There's a nice Tom Clavin on the left. Most of these base cards are going to be damaged from snowflaking and stuff. So yeah, it's going to be fun collecting them, but I'm also looking for some sweet inserts and we've already gotten two, or at least one cool insert and a really good parallel. Okay, let's see what this is about. If you guys have any tips on how to... Uh, possibly mitigate any sort of snow flicking let me know i've tried a bunch of them already but any sort of tips would be helpful see brad former and we'll see get these out there's a gold medallion of paul o'neill looks pretty good just like the rest the front looks good and the back's a little bit damaged we are averaging one gold medallion a pack which is great Carlos Delgado, Brian Jordan. Let's see, Radke. Will Clark. Marquise Grissom. Sidney Ponson. And Marty Cordova. Cool. Got a ton more packs here. How many packs are in this box? I feel like I've done a million of these packs already, but I guess not. I have to go a little bit quicker. I don't want to make this video too long for you guys. Okay, we'll just uh, we'll show the. So we're gonna have Swing Kings. And what is the Swing Kings here? Oh, nice! Hold on, check this out: a Derek Jeter gold medallion, and then an Alex Rodriguez Swing Kings. No way! This box is insane. Getting some awesome, awesome cards here. Look at this. That A Rod looks great. Yeah, can't see too much wrong with this. Of course, I'll take a closer look, but that looks awesome. Very nice. Put that in the, the other pile there. Let's take a look at this Jeter gold medallion. Peel it off nice and slow. Pretty cool. Very, very cool. Yeah, so the back, obviously a little bit damaged down there. Kind of stinks. Front looks good though, so it's probably not a grading candidate, but a cool card to just sit in the collection. That was a good pack. Let's see if we get any more guys in here. Uh, let's see, mostly common so far. Okay. No one really, no one too big. Yeah, no one too big for the commons, but we got that sweet Derek Jeter medallion and the Alex Rodriguez Swing Kings. So that Swing Kings insert is really, really cool. 
Love the look of that. So this pack, I opened it right up, and that card is damaged quite a bit. All around the edges, too. There's Sandy Alomar Jr. That's a cool picture. I like that a lot. I'm a big Indians fan, so that's a really a cool picture. Really, really cool. I like that one a lot. Uh, there's Pedro. And, ooh, we got a nice die cut. What is this one? Got Ruben Mateo. World Premier card? I'm not sure the odds of that, but that's definitely a good-looking card. Wish it were a bigger name, but really cool. Like I said, you know, those late 90s, early 2000s die cuts, they just went crazy with them, along with, like, the acetate and the crazy, crazy refractor shine. Open up a box of 2000 and top Series 1. You should go check out that video. The shine on some of those inserts are insane. So we got Scott Williamson gold card. Nothing crazy. Back's a little bit damaged like usual. And we'll keep going with the rest of this pack. See Chris Singleton. Jeff Shaw. David Nilsson. Ooh, these ones are really stuck. There we go. Jay Buhner again. And then... Rodgers Denya. Do it for that pack. Okay. Jose Offerman on the top. Should probably do a little crack first. Seems to help out. Even though it probably damages the cards. It's okay. Lee Stevens. Jeremy Giambi. Uh, Carlos Beltran. That's a really young Beltran. 147. Shannon Stewart. Let's work from the top now. Jose Offerman. Jeff Bagwell. Ooh, boy. That card is really beat up. And Jose. Gold Medallion. Trot Nixon. Cool. Jose Jimenez. That Trot Nixon beat up real bad. All around the edges and whatnot. Let's see if we can get something cool. Maybe a hit, maybe an autograph. A relicate, we can get those in this box. They're pretty tough though. There's also some pretty tough inserts inserts to get. They're like one in 72 packs. Look at that, we got a Cal Ripken right on top. Let's see if we can get him off. A little bit easy. Oh, nice, that came off real well. Yeah, back looks good. A little bit of damage up here. Yeah, really nice. Good job, Cal. Came off good. Okay, there's that really cool Sandy Alomar card. I love that card. David Bell. And gold medallion, Jacques Jones. I think I said that right. I'm not sure. That's a prospect card. So I think the prospect cards are the... The uh, short prints ones, 265. So maybe it's from like 250 to 300. Maybe that's the prospect range, the short print range. But the, the prospects are definitely the short prints. So Robin Ventura. David Nelson again. There's Canseco on the Rays. It's a weird team in a Rays uniform. <laughs> Randall Simon. And then Cliff Floyd. Okay, next pack. Kind of hitting a stalemate here. We're still getting those gold parallels like usual. Got the Cal Ripken in the last one. Gotta hit something big now. Okay, here's the insert. Crunch time, JD Drew. This has a weird feeling to it. It's almost like felt. Wow, that's really weird. Pull this off pretty smooth. Let's take a look at this card. That's, that's such a weird feeling card. 
I don't know, it's kind of hard to see. Maybe you can see the texture in this. But it's it's like a weird velvety, felty feel. It's also a much thicker card. That's a cool card, Crunch Time with JD Drew. Interesting. Oh yeah, the, the baseball leather is like embossed over there. That's nice. Good looking card. Pretty unique. Gold Medallion, we have Bobby Abreu. That one turned out real nice. Little to no damage on that one. These cards aren't really stuck together. There's a Jeter. Jeter looks good. How's the back look? Eh, not as good. <laughs> That's a bummer. We should get a Jeter though. Jeter's nice. Okay. This one's real bad. There's a Ricky. It's a good shot of Ricky there. Tino Sosa. Got Sosa with Vladimir Guerrero. Senior, of course. Matt Stairs. Okay. I think uh, Vlad Jr. will get a chance to go in the Hall of Fame. I know he's really young. But if he gets his number out there, that'd be pretty cool to see a father-son duo in the Hall. How many father-son duos are there in the Hall of Fame? Interesting trivia question. I don't know the answer. I wish I did. Let's see. Okay, here's a new insert. Diamond Mine, Alex Rodriguez. I think this is one of the higher-end inserts. So this one's really good. Let's pull it off nice and smooth. Nice. Came off, yeah, real good. Diamond Mine, Alex Rodriguez. Very cool. Oh, it's a good looking card. It's a real good looking card. Sick. So I'll put the A rod up in the back. Kind of hard to see. Want to get him some spotlight. He's reflecting a lot of light back there. And we'll look at this gold medallion real quick. It is Lee Stevens, the gold medallion. Nice, that one turned out real well. Yeah, barely any damage on you. Okay, let's see, Todd Walker, Chris Benson, Brady Anderson, excuse me, Brett Boone, and Jeff Jenkins. So this video is going a little bit longer than expected, so sorry about that. I'm kind of taking my time though, really admiring some of these inserts and peeling off the cards kind of easy. Okay. Let's see, Reggie Sanders. Here's another diamond mine. Ken Griffey Jr., no way. So we hit two of these in a row. Uh, maybe they're not as valuable as I thought, but since we've only hit two, it's got to mean something. So we've hit a great set of inserts. Two Ken Griffey inserts, two A-Rod inserts. So not too bad. This one is really refractory. Well, not really refract. It's reflectory. If that isn't, that's not even a word. I can't even talk. The Griffey's going to go back there. And Wally Joyner for the gold medallion. Okay, there's Alex Gonzalez. There's Reggie Sanders. Okay, more commons. Matt Williams. Justin Thompson at Sprague. Is that a prospect card? No. Jeff Weaver. Gotta look up these prospect cards after the videos. I apologize for not knowing beforehand. That's a stupid part on me. Usually I do a little bit of research before I open up a box, but definitely missed out on today. Bobby Higginson, Jose Rosario, and Ben Molina. It's supposed to be Benji Molina? Just says Ben Molina. Maybe they're different people. <laughs> uh, Joe McEwen, gold medallion. Nothing fancy there, but it is a gold medallion. And uh, after I open up all the packs, I'll do a quick recap at the end, as always. Standard with every box break. Ken Caminiti there. 
Jose Hernandez, Benito Santiago. So yeah, we'll just do the recap, show everything we got. Should be a fun recap, got some sick cards so far. Okay, Jeff Zimmerman, whoops. Justin Hermanson. It's a cool picture actually, him holding the lollipops. This product reminds me a lot of Stadium Club. It's got the cool pictures in them. No borders, straight pictures, cool inserts. Ooh, that one got bad. Bad snowflake. And gold medallion. A horizontal gold medallion. Ooh. Fancy. Kind of cool. Todd Hundley. It's our first horizontal. see here there's Barry Bonds let's see how he turns out yeah it's all right it's a cool picture this this product reminds me a lot of Stadium Club actually pictures like that are Stadium Club level pictures Sean Green and Ron Coomer Coomer hmm, sorry Ron don't really know how to say your name Ooh, that was bad. Okay. See what this pack has. Billy Wagner. He was on the Hall of Fame ballot this year, I think. Moises Alou. Here's a prospect card. Ramon Hernandez. Let's see what number this is. 278. Oh my gosh, check this out. Sandy Alomar Gold Medal Edition. This is the card that I said I love. It's probably my favorite card the in this whole set my favorite picture that is so cool i love this card this is my personal favorite card of the box not the most valuable for sure but this is a beautiful picture i love it love 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 that card i'm gonna you know what he's gonna get a front and center look right in the corner there you go beautiful i love that card that's so so cool to me Oh, nice. This has been a great box so far. Renteria. John Jaha. J Bell. So we're hitting a lot of different comments here. I don't know if we'll have enough to complete the set. Definitely pulled a ton of cards out. Uh, we have seen some duplicates, though. We've already gotten, you know, three of those. Three of the Sandy Alomars. Including the Gold Medallion Parallel. We've hit two Jeters, so... Um, yeah, we're definitely getting some parallels. Kerry Wood. Todd Zeal. Russ Ortiz. Gold Medallion. Orlando Hernandez. He had the craziest uh, leg kick for a pitcher. Look, this picture even describes it pretty well. Like, he kicked so high when he pitched. It was insane. He is one of the craziest windups you'll ever see in the Major League Baseball. It's almost comical, but he's a good pitcher. Let's see, Tony Clark. Eric Karos. Steve Finley. And Jason Kendall. Moving down to the last couple packs. See if we can hit something big. We've, we've really set the bar high with our first pack, so I don't know if we can top it. We did get some very nice inserts throughout the break, but nothing is topping that original. There's Harold Baines, Hall of Famer. Yeah, nothing's topping that Maddox so far. Roy Halliday, that's a cool picture of Roy. And Derek Jeter, mine, diamond mine, no way. And that's stuck to Brian Giles. Man, these diamond mine cards, we are killing it. Killing it. So Jeter. With the diamond mine, very nice. Put him right there. And we get the horizontal Brian Giles. Um, I thought that edge was messed up. I think that's part of the picture though. I'm not sure. It doesn't look damaged, but it doesn't look natural. Like it shouldn't be there, like that white line on top. I don't know. It's a good picture of him though. 
Okay, Carlos Lee. And we got Paul O'Neill and John Whitman. So starting to see a few more dupes come up, which is good and bad. Let's see Miguel Cairo, Brian Jordan, Tony Gwynn. Why is that? It looks kind of weird. See, there's like a shadow out of his name. There's like a the shadow is kind of like offset. And you look at Brian Jordan's, like he doesn't have any shadow. That's just kind of is that a printing error. I don't know. I think it is a printing error because you look at the Ultra right here. The Ultra is kind of high up, right next to the Fleer logo. And this Ultra is like really, really low. So I think this Gwyn is a little bit print errored, a little bit off, but that's okay. Oh yeah, because the the team name should be in the black part there. Nice. Nice. Tony Gwynn though. Let's see Luis Gonzalez. Gold medal of Jay Buner. It's a good one. And finish this one out. Jim Tell me. Tom Glavin. Jermaine Die. Last three packs to go. I'm enjoying every single pack though, so not, I'm just not gonna rush it. This video is already kind of long. Tony Gwynn, so that's the good Tony Gwynn. That's how it should look. Let's pull this other one out. Yeah, definitely a little bit printed, printed off there. So that wouldn't grade too well. But now we have a good Tony Gwynn. Rural Mondesi, and you got another one. world premiere card. Peel this off nice and easy. It is Jorge Toca. I don't know how to say it. This is the second one that we've got. So obviously a little bit more harder to pull these cards. Nice looking die cut. I can't even say his name. Jorge Toca? Taka? I'm totally butchering this. I know I am. Well, there you go, Jorge. World Premier insert. Cool. Not a huge name. Medallion, Todd Zeal. Ran out of sleeves. Let me go get some more. Always keep sleeves nearby. Always have sleeves on hand. It's always good to stock up and have sleeves. You can never have too many of them. So there we go. Okay. Santiago again. Nothing big here. It's Bernard Gilkey. David Wells. Last two packs, here we go. All right. Wade Boggs, the chicken man, once again. Uh, Mike Mussina, Hall of Famer. Bobby Higginson. Larry Walker, Hall of Famer as well. Nice Roy Halliday for the gold medallion. That's another good looking photo. It's a really good looking gold medallion. Very nice. I'm getting some nice gold medallions in here. Roy Halliday, there we go. And whoops, we'll skip that one there. Uh, Ray Ordonez, Chuck Finley. Yeah, nothing too big in that one. So, last pack. We're down to it. Then we'll do the recap. 2000 Fleer Ultra. You, oh, before I do that, I wonder if they have odds printed on here. They do. Probably should have read this at the start. So, 300 card base set. 250 veterans player cards. The last 50 are the prospects. One of four packs. Gold medallions are one in one pack. Yep, kind of guess that after a while. Platinum Medallion is 50 sets for basic 25. Oh, wow. So the prospects are numbered out of 25. That's cool. Um, let's see here. Diamond Mine is 1 in 6. We hit 3 of those. World Premiere, we hit 2. Swing Kings, 1 in 24. We hit 2 of those. So we got lucky with the Swing Kings. Uh, crunch Time, we hit 1 of those Crunch Times. So that's 1 in 72 packs. That's really cool. 
So we beat the odds with crunch time. Um, ultra talented, didn't get those, didn't get a feel of the game. Well, we might, you know, we got one more pack left. Fresh ink, hand numbered, three club 3000, club 3000 memori memorabilia cards. So let's see what we get in this last one. <laughs> I should have shown the odds at the beginning of the video. Let's see what we got. Al Leader, Pete Harnish. Jason Schmidt, this is a little bit more exciting. Uh oh, uh oh, what is that? You see that? What is this? <laughs> oh, well, check that out. Carl Yastrzemski Club 3000. That is an insane looking card. Oh, it's beautiful. It's like, it's thick too. It's got some weight to it. Oh my gosh. We were just reading the odds. Club 3000. Yes. Beautiful. Yeah, he's definitely going to get a spot on a stand. That is a good, good-looking card. Mm. Ray Ardornias. Gold Medallion. I did not expect this box to be as good as it is. There's Fernando Tatis Sr. Here's A-Rod Base. Oops, I didn't even grab enough sleeve for this box. I thought it was just going to be a casual break. Fly through it real quick. Talk about some players. Now we're hitting some big cards though, and I love it. So that'll do it. Oh, put this A right over here. Now I'm going to get the cards together, do a quick recap for you guys. Okay, let's go ahead and go through what we opened up. I'll make this quick because I know the video is pretty long, but I had a lot of fun with this break. Definitely one of the more fun boxes I've opened. So here's just some of the normal uh, base cards from the bigger players. We got Mark McGuire, Cal Rifkin, Jeter, Barry Bonds, Tony Gwynn. Two of those ones pretty printed pretty bad. Alex Rodriguez and another Jeter. So those were the uh, the base cards. And then I'll go over the parallels. Just the gold medallion parallels. We got one in each pack. Uh, some of the bigger names. We got Jeter as a gold medallion. That one was definitely one of the better cards to get. Uh, Frank Thomas gold. Wade Boggs gold. Roy Halley gold. The Sandy Alomar. I thought that card was gorgeous. One of my favorites. And then the other name players weren't as big. But uh, one in each pack, so we got tons of those. And now for the inserts, which definitely was the highlight of this box. We defied a lot of the odds with some of these inserts. So let's go ahead and go through them. We got uh, two World Premier cards. Let's set these down. Two World Premier cards. Um, Ruben Mateo and Jorge Toca. Don't really know how to say his name. But th that's how you get those, I guess. Pretty good looking cards. Uh, make some room. Uh, then we hit Derek Jeter, Diamond Mind, Ken Griffey Jr., Diamond Mind, and Alex Rodriguez, Diamond Mind. Big name players, cool looking insert. Definitely like those a lot. So put, uh, we got two Jeters up in the stands right now. Two Swing Kings, so we beat the odds with that, I believe. Uh, Ken Griffey and Alex Rodriguez. So those are definitely cool looking inserts with the acetate now we're switching over to some die cuts this Carl Yastrzemski was awesome I love this card a lot one of my favorite inserts I got a little bit thicker card love the look of it and a little bit tougher to get we'll put him right there whoops knocked over the Griffey and then we got we definitely defied the odds with this crunch time 1 in 72 packs to get this so if JD Drew it had like a really cool feel to it I just could not stop touching this card. But JD Drew, cool card, tough to get. And then lastly, the very first pack we opened, Greg Maddox Platinum Medallion Edition, numbered out of 50. Just insane. Beautiful card, great player too. Like, you know, couldn't have asked for a better box break. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this box break just as much as I did opening up all these cards. If you guys did enjoy it, go ahead and like and subscribe for more of these videos to come. And I will see you guys next time.